shadows are all around us in earlier days shadows helped us to find the time of the day the path of the shadow is not fixed it changes throughout the year let us explore it more with the help of a model we will reuse our previous setup with some minor changes this plastic ball is our earth let us mark some lines for reference these lines are imaginary lines line marked in black is called the equator it runs horizontally and divides the earth in two equal parts northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere let us mark one red line here longitudes are vertical lines from north pole to south pole these lines divide earth vertically in two halves western hemisphere and eastern hemisphere this arctic circle is marked in green while antarctic circle is marked in blue Let us place this small paper disc with a pin in the center. Flashlight of the mobile phone will be our sun. We will move the earth through these four positions around the sun. 21st March, 21st June, 22nd September and 22nd December Let us rotate the earth slowly in a counter clockwise direction Length of the shadow changes throughout the day it is longest in the morning and evening while very short around noon as earth revolves around the sun location of the shadow also shifts this is mainly due to the tilted axis of the earth earth rotates in a counter clockwise direction this could be the reason the shadow moves in a clockwise direction as modern clocks are based on the original sun dials we might be calling this direction clockwise and this one anti clockwise You can also use this setup to change the location of the pin on the ball and explore the path shadow takes. Simulations are a great way to understand the movement of the shadow at various locations. You can change the location as well as day and time of the year to find the movement of the shadow. Do give it a try. Thank you.